importing objects into the merge tool is uh, done from the versions um, form in here. And uh, it shows up non-editable and it's really because it's like you normally don't create these versions. They actually automatically create it uh, from an import, but it is possible to hit F2 and then actually put in the code and so on. It's inline editable in here. But normally you have to go in here and you import the object text file and uh, you have to fill in the information. And this one I'll just put in, uh, this one is a merge tool. I'll find the file and I can take the one that was actually from the object explorer in here and I can give it a description. One of the most common uh, error is that you import the wrong file. So normally keeping the version, the description and the file name something similar, it makes it easier in the in a later state to actually go back and look at what changed in here. So if I look at it, uh, I have um, a lot of other fields in here. The only thing that needs to be filled out is the product code and rest of it is all referring to how it maintained version lists during merges and things like that one. I can do conditional imports and things like that one. And I'm going to leave that uh, off for now. So I'll actually just go here and say OK. And then I'll go through my uh, text file. It reads it one character at a time to avoid errors with very, very long lines. And during this one, it actually scans the code so it understands the format of it in here. So I imported the new version. It created it for me here. I had 92,000 lines in here, 441 objects. And I can either do the drill down or I can actually go here and say, look at the objects in here took my text file, broke it up in individual objects, and if I go look at it, it also broke it up in individual lines in here. And this one is just the source code lines in here. If I go down and look at the fields in here, I can say this one is actually where field number two is defined in here. If I go zoom on this line, you see there's a lot more information than just the text in here. That's, uh, if it was imported completely, the length of the text, the type, where it is in the code. And this one is the important part, where it actually knows that this one is a fixed ID uh, field 2, and uh, this one don't refer to anything, this one actually is the first line in the fixed ID. This one is being used also during a compare and several other processes, and this one is really the key to how the merge tool works better with a compare and anything else than a normal text editor because it actually understands the code and know the context of where the version actually is in here. And again, there's a lot of uh, extra information in here. So uh, that's basically uh, how to import it in here. If I wanted to import something that was very similar, as I open up the import, I can actually use this assist editor in here and select one. It's just used for filling this one out. So I could go here and then start changing it afterwards. But it basically is so I don't have to remember everything to use this assisted it out here. So if I run this export or import again, you import that one and now create MGT2 in here. It's just a convenient way to set the many fields on the request screen uh, that is in here.